What's up guys, Steve here with your stimulus check, unemployment, and stimulus package update as we've received some shocking details regarding the new stimulus package that's expected to roll out this week. That's right, and some of those details include the unemployment boost is gonna be up to $600 and extended all the way out until October of 2021. That's right. Now, there's some other shocking provisions in there as well. I'm gonna be covering all the details in this video, sharing with you video footage that just came out yesterday. Now, the question remains, will this be the priority or will this be overshadowed by the removal of President Donald Trump? As we heard yesterday, Joe Biden say that he believes Congress is being consumed with removing Donald Trump and losing focus of trying to battle the pandemic and provide stimulus to America at this time. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at video clips and one article that's going to dive into further detail. So I'm going to get you caught up on the latest as of this morning, January the 12th. But before we dive in, if you like and appreciate these video updates, if you could do me a quick favor, it'll just take a second. Be sure to smash the like button. I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Like button, dropping comments, and sharing these videos out to anybody who you think might need to see them. It helps out my channel. Thank you so much. And also, if you're not already a part of the viewing community and you would like to stay up to date on everything rolling out right now, be sure to smash the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that way as soon as I upload videos, you can be notified right away. And if you don't already, be sure follow me on Instagram as well at steveram3. But now let's go ahead and dive into the latest regarding stimulus, unemployment, and all the provisions in this next package expected to roll out this week. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive into the CNBC News report that just came out yesterday. And in here, they're going to be discussing some of the provisions that are expected to roll out in this next stimulus package. Now, keep in mind the fact that this is going to be the proposal that's coming out. We still have to have Congress vote on this and pass it. But this is what they're currently going to be putting on the table. They're saying likely this week. Well, Shep, the priorities you laid out are those of President-elect Biden, but he is going to have to get this package through Congress. And Democrats on Capitol Hill have their own ideas about what this new bill should look like. Moderate Democratic Senator Joe Manchin is calling those $2,000 stimulus checks, says they can't be a carte blanche. But Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders says that they are a promise that must be kept. Unemployment benefits may not be an easy swing either. The incoming chairman of the Senate Finance Committee, Ron Wyden, is pledging to push for his proposal to boost those benefits by $600 a week all the way through October. But that might be too much and too long for some Democrats. Remember, there were 18 House Democrats who voted against the $2 trillion aid package back in October. Many of those seats are now held by Republicans, which means that the margin of error for Democrats in the House is even smaller. Meanwhile, progressives have their own wish list, too, including canceling up to $50,000 in student debt compared to the $10,000 that Biden has proposed. They also want to strengthen worker safety protections, raise the minimum wage and create 600,000 jobs to care for children and for the elderly. And complicating all of this is the calendar. It is not clear how much, if anything, the Senate could get done if it is also conducting an impeachment trial of President Trump at the same time. Now, Biden told reporters that he has been talking to senators about whether it's possible to do both. But, Shep, he said that he is still waiting on an answer from the chamber's parliamentarian. So there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you agree or disagree with these suggestions for these provisions? As we heard, Senator Ron Wyden, the person who authored the unemployment boost, is now suggesting it go up once again to $600 and extend it all the way out until October of 2021. And what we're hearing is they're not certain if Democrats will remain unified on provisions like this. Now they're saying if they're not they might have trouble passing these things through. In addition to that, we saw a suggestion of student loan forgiveness of up to $50,000. That was pretty shocking because last we heard, Biden was saying $10,000. So some Democrats are wanting to provide even more generous provisions. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think this is too much, too little? Do you think that we will lose unity in the Democratic Party if provisions go too high? And in addition to that, we also heard in that video clip their concerns about the overshadowing by the impeachment of Donald Trump on these provisions. And we heard President-elect Joe Biden vocalize this yesterday when he said that Congress is now becoming consumed with removing Donald Trump and they're losing sight and focus of battling the pandemic and providing stimulus help to America at this time. And we heard Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell say that the soonest they'll be able to provide these articles of impeachment to be voted on in the Senate would be January 19th, the 
day before Biden's inauguration. So what they're saying is that this could overshadow stimulus, overshadow Biden's agenda, and bleed into his first days and his first presidency being overshadowed by Donald Trump. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But now let's take a look at a video clip that came out just yesterday as well that goes a little bit into more detail. Well, Shep, House Democrats are expected to vote on that article of impeachment at 9 a.m. on Wednesday. That article was introduced in a pro forma or incomplete session earlier today, and it's expected to win support from Democrats and even a handful of Republicans, too, with some voicing their support today, even as the top House Republican, Kevin McCarthy, laid out alternative options for proceeding. Those options including assembling a bipartisan commission to investigate the siege and censuring the president and saying that in a call with the president that the president did express responsibility or some responsibility for the events of last week. Democrats, on the other hand, want not only to impeach, but to do it quickly. A senior Democratic aide says that top Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer is exploring using a somewhat obscure emergency authority that would allow the two leaders of the Senate to reconvene the entire Senate uh, in a very quick fashion to begin an impeachment trial as soon as this week. No word on whether McConnell would go along with that plan. The Senate Majority Leader, uh, he has previously said in a memo that the soonest that he could receive the article of impeachment from the House would be January 19th, the day before President-elect Biden's inauguration. Biden was asked by reporters today about that timing. He was receiving his second COVID vaccine, and he was asked about the possibility that impeachment could be on a collision course with the Senate's consideration of his nominees, specifically his nominee for Secretary of Defense. Biden said he'd asked the Senate parliamentarian whether the schedule for January 19th could be bifurcated, a half day for impeachment, a half day to consider his nominees. He said he's still awaiting clarity on that front. Now, if impeachment supersedes those hearings, uh, it, Biden runs the risk of having Donald Trump not only overshadow the early days and the early messaging of his presidency, but also increases the likelihood that Biden would take office with not a single cabinet member confirmed. Shep? Well, there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you feel that Congress is now becoming consumed with removing President Donald Trump and forgetting and losing sight of the new presidency and providing stimulus and battling the virus? Now, let's go ahead and dive into an article that just came out that's focusing on the stimulus once again, reminding you guys of where things currently stand with that package. So link in the description below to this article that just came out that reads, here's what we know about Biden's massive stimulus plan coming this week. And it says, President-elect Joe Biden is expected to unveil a multi-trillion dollar stimulus plan this week. Here's what we know so far. Now, just to clarify, we've heard this could be two to three trillion. We've heard reports that this possibly could go almost up to four trillion dollars. And we have heard him say that the price tag is going to be very high, that they expect this to be the largest stimulus package we have seen so far. Now, here's some of the key facts. It says the plan will almost certainly include provisions to increase the amount of the second round of direct payments from 600 to 2000. So I know there was a little bit of unclarity as to whether or not this was going to be a $2,000 third stimulus check or if this was going to be adding on to the $600. We've received word this is going to be adding on. So essentially you would get a $1,400 stimulus check, but they're not calling it a third check. They're calling it an addition to the $600. Also, we've received word it says it will also include more state and local government aid. And as we know, that was one of the massive things that Democrats wanted to see included, but they couldn't come to an agreement with Republicans, so they removed that along with liability protection. Also, it says here that there will be more money for vaccine distribution, schools, rental assistance, small business aid, and tax credits. And also another bullet point item, it says the success of large parts of Biden's plan, those eligible under the process called the budget reconciliation, will hinge on the full support of Democratic senators after last week's runoff elections in Georgia. With control of the Senate now split 50-50, it says, and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris casting the tiebreaker vote, Biden cannot afford to lose even one Democratic vote on a massive spending plan that almost all, if not all, Republicans are sure to oppose. So there is incredible, vital importance on the Democratic Party remaining united in order for them to pass these provisions that they want to see unfold. 
And lastly, we have here the push for $2,000 checks is already facing opposition. As we heard this week, Joe Manchin say he would absolutely not support stimulus checks. Then later on that same day, he kind of backpedaled that statement and said that I did not say I would not absolutely support it, but he said he wanted to see more targeted provisions that would specifically help out those in need. Now, that was very concerning to a lot of people because as we just saw, Democrats have to stay completely united to have that one up on Republicans and be able to push through their items of interest. You guys, that is the latest regarding the stimulus package and all the provisions, including the checks, unemployment, and what we're expecting to see roll out this week. But in addition to that, you heard that Wednesday they're going to be providing in the House those articles of impeachment. So we're going to see what's going to be unfolding here. There's going to be a lot happening this week. And as it comes out, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel. And once again, if you like and appreciate these updates and you made it this far and you haven't already why don't you just go ahead and smash that like button I would appreciate it it helps out the channel and also if you're not already part of the viewing community and you would like to stay up to date on everything rolling out right now be sure to smash the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that way as soon as I upload videos you can be notified right away and if you don't already be sure to follow me on Instagram as well at Steve Ram 3 well you guys I hope this reaches you well have a blessed day take care God bless this is Steve.